on the Westmoreland Sports Network postgame show. John Flickinger, Brock Smith back with you, and the head coach of the Trojans, Sean Spencer. Uh, Spence, uh, I know you and I had a chance to do some of these uh, together basketball-wise, but I got a chance to do volleyball tonight, and I saw some good stuff out there. That was enjoyable uh, to watch, and a nice win, non-conference, but I know the Bridgers and the Trojans have played some big games over the years, and it's always nice to beat Ambridge. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, Ambridge has always been a good rival for us. Um, we've gotten them some. They've always obviously gotten us some. Uh, so that was neat to see. What was really neat to see is the kids out there competing tonight, and they got a chance to see where they could get to if they can harness that each and every night. And so that was, that was neat to see, and uh, I hope that continues to tomorrow. You talked about contributions from not only your big guys. I mean, we got a couple of them here with, uh, with Noah and uh, BMO, but just other guys stepping up and coming up big in crucial situations. They had a lot of unforced errors, but you guys took advantage of those at times. Yeah, I mean, the younger kids, they're inexperienced right now, and each each game, each time we practice, they get a little bit more experience, a little more confidence, and understanding on what to do. And, that, and hopefully, that just continues to grow through the season because we're going to need to to have success if we hope to get to the postseason. But um, yeah, I thought I thought they did make a lot of unforced errors, but you are correct. I thought when we had the opportunity, we took advantage of uh, of them a lot. So um, that's all you can do. I saw these two make some big plays and big shots and I told Smitty I said just being around you guys for so many years I've seen you teach that <laughs> I've seen him teach that just little things like like finding open areas stuff like that you know when you're supposed to hit when you're supposed to you know dump and all that stuff just it seemed to work out uh, Noah, Noah Cam and Mason have played a lot of volleyball for me club high school and sometimes I don't think they listen to me but other times I think they do um and their volleyball IQs are very high um, for high school volleyball players, and they understand that, and they're able to execute those shots because of that IQ. How much can a win like tonight propel you? I know it's to the next day, but yeah, you know, I, like I, I think tonight's win is good. Obviously, anytime you win is good. Um, beating, beating a team like that and and seeing that, showing the kids that hey, hey, we might be in this. Um, should be a good good lesson for them if they can harness that and, and just build off that and just continue that momentum. But obviously you got to take it day by day, and uh, we'll enjoy this one tonight. But we got a big section match tomorrow on the road, and like I told the kids, we have to find a way to show that we can win on the road. We've shown that we can win at, win at home and protect our court. Now it's time to go go take one on the road. Smitty, you got anything? No, I just it was nice to see BMO and Noah and Cam. Like Spence says, you know sometimes they you don't think they're listening, but they. They, they make those uh, uh, tips here and a nice roll shot. They see the open court, but then uh, you can go back and you see a couple hard cross-court shots and then a nice little roll over there. Defensively, I thought you guys played well tonight. I mean, they touched a lot of balls on the defensive end. There were some errors, obviously, but I thought defensively you touched an awful lot of balls. But uh, the, three, the three horsemen, so to speak, I mean, they, they played well. They really did, so it was nice to see. Yeah, we don't have a choice. They have to play well. I know. <laughs> Spence, congratulations again, and uh, we enjoyed it. All right, thank, thank you. you. Nice job. Noah, uh, congratulations. Uh, big game for you tonight. Uh, you're all over the place. Uh, you have to start really feeling good about yourself and, and, and what this team has been able to uh, accomplish here. Yeah. Talk about your – you came into tonight 3-3. Three and three, Yeah. But out of those three losses, you were in every single one of them. What made tonight's – match different than those ones you were in before uh spence really just tells us all to compete usually we just i don't know like let it get to us get inside our own heads and then our coach tells us just to compete play your own game you're better than that all that just normal talk yeah now tonight when you guys were getting set to to play this ambridge team did you, you kind of knew what was on the line with with your two teams right between yeah, Ambridge and Derry? There's a lot of rivalry, yeah, in that. And I'm sure that got you, you know, pretty pumped up to, to, to make plays. Yeah. Because you certainly did. First round loss against them last year in the playoffs, so that was bad. And you set the tone because you might see him again, right? Yeah, we might. All right, Noah, thank you so much. You can give it to Mason. And uh, BMO, I know uh, 
got to watch you play a lot on the football field. I get to see you on, on the volleyball court. You, again, just like Noah, you, you were hitting the ball extremely well tonight. Yeah. Uh, and what uh, Coach Smith said, making like smart plays, you know. I mean, he's teaching me more of the game as we're going on, but I'm seeing you see the floor extremely well. Talk about uh, your performance tonight and the team in general. Um, my performance, it's, you know, I'm just a part of the team, just one out of six. It's not that important. Like, obviously, I'm a part of the team, but the big part is the whole team overall. And defensively, I think we all did a, a better job touching more balls, letting, not letting the ball hit the ground, and serving better today than we have in past games. When you were at the point in the fourth set and you were leading pretty comfortably and then they started making a comeback, what difference was it tonight as it's been to, to other games? Because you've been there before? Yeah, we've been there before, and we like we know what we got to do to dig out of that hole, and, yeah, we just got it done. We knew what we had to do, and we did it. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Big, big victory tonight for you uh, to propel you into the section and continued uh, success for you guys. Yep. Thank you. All right, thanks. Yep.